everybody. I hope you can hear me. Um, yes. I, just like all of you, um, back on September 25th, 1970, I wanted to marry Keith Partridge, but over the years, <laughs> I learned to really love and respect the talent of David Cassidy. So I, over the years, I've collected a lot of memorabilia, and um, I was going to throw out this hutch about two months ago, and my husband said, why don't you put all your Partridge family crap in it? And that's what I did. So all of my stuff, um, I'm from uh, right outside of Boston, Massachusetts. So I saw David uh, 13 times in New England, Keegan's son, a couple of times in Vegas. I, the one that was most memorable for me was uh, when he came out with Lying to Myself and he came to the Boston area to promote that album, he did a meet and greet at a nightclub called Zanzibar. And he did a very, he was very protected during that tour. And you didn't really, you didn't really get a, much of a chance to spend time with him. But we did get to say hi. Me and my best friend went. And at the time, uh, my brother had painted some sneakers for me because I had a golf team called the Puttridge family. And um, he created a t-shirt for all of us. And that was the logo, the Puttridge family. Part of my, my big t-shirt quilt that David actually wore twice in concert. But um, my brother-in-law hand painted these sneakers for me. A um, little hard to see, but they're hand-painted partridges. So when I met David, I brought the sneakers with me and he autographed them. The autograph's a little bit faded, but it's on the shoes. And um, I only had probably 10 seconds of his time, but he autographed them and he kind of made a look like, oh boy, you know, I've seen everything now. <laughs> and, um, but very nice and I've had them forever. Uh, along with some other things, and um, you know, oh wow, awesome! Okay. That's great. Right. Awesome. Thank you, Sandra. That was yeah, everybody what give a round of applause. Woo! 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 Woo!